Bethany Frankel is questioning why reality TV hasn't unionized. Just a week into the WGA and SAG after a double strike. And as networks have pivoted to reality TV to support their full schedules. Hollywood is on strike. Entertainers are fighting for residuals and no one will promote anything. Why isn't reality TV on strike? I got paid $7,250 for my first season of reality TV and people are still watching those episodes. We've always been the losers, the I'm up here, you're down here to the actresses and actors. During the last writer's strike, we're providing all the entertainment and that's when really the gold rush of reality TV started. So I myself have generated millions and millions of dollars in advertising and online impressions, being on reality TV and have never made a single residual. So either I'm missing something or we're getting screwed too. People on the hills and the bachelor and bachelorette get paid peanuts to do what they do and people can still watch those episodes from years gone by. Anyone shooting a Bravo show should not be shooting until they get paid residuals for all the other episodes that they've ever done or those episodes should be taken down. Reality stars should go on strike. The Hills, people still watch The Hills today and they don't make a goddamn dollar and they were entirely exploited getting ratings that network television doesn't get. I spoke to Caitlin Bristow. Her episodes were getting 6 million viewers. Network television doesn't get that in many cases. In most cases, streaming television doesn't get that. It's complete and total bullshit. And I'm going to get into this because it just occurred to me. Everyone is talking about actors. We don't get paid shit. In her post, the former Roni star, who spun off several shows from her time on the series and launched her Rewives Rewatch podcast in late 2022, challenged the idea that reality stars reap benefits only from exposure.